Hello, in this video, you will learn about cloud computing security and privacy issues. So first we will see privacy issues in cloud computing that is data protection, data control, unauthorized access to user data on the cloud. So for this, we need employee training and knowledge about the cloud computing environment so that they can manage it well. For data protection, we can use secure socket layer ssl encryption and we need data control so we need privacy for data from any theft or misuse next is data life cycle so in data life cycle we have different phases in the first phase you can see that is the data collection or you can say data searching that is generation of data in the next phase data is created and in the next phase you can see this is the authentication phase here we will check only authorized user can access the data and the next phase is classification or sharing that is the transfer of data here only we will share the data with the authorized person and the next phase is storage or data handling here we can store or handle data after that we have next phase that is backup and data holding and the last phase is data destruction that is data removal. So we, this is the life cycle of data from generation to destruction. First we will search for data, we will collect data, after that you can use or create data. Then you can see you can share data with other person on the cloud so that is the transfer of the data and for transformation we will use different medium that is over the internet after that we have storage backup and destruction so that is just simple data life cycle on the cloud after that we have privacy concern in the cloud like user data privacy and for that we have different security method like private encryption and firewalls in the privacy concern, we deal with how to handle administrator privacy. As you know, we have to handle user data privacy and we need to manage administrator privacy. So how we can handle admin privacy over the cloud? If there is no security, it means there is unauthorized access to data. There is information and data leakage, data loss, data theft. So that's the privacy concern in the cloud computing so for data management we need to manage data while moving from one point to another this include the data location and the data transfer for example you can see here in the healthcare industry we have patients privacy concern we need to keep patient records about the information data private from the third parties for example in the financial services in the companies in the organization in information and data need to be keep private so that it cannot be accessed by third parties and no one can share it over the internet with public so we have different privacy concern in the cloud you can see here we need to keep user data private so that we can use private encryption and firewall and how we can manage or handle admin privacy over the cloud next is audit and compliance here compliance means make sure your cloud service provider follow certain rules and regulation to keep your data safe and protected on the cloud so whenever you're using any cloud service so first make sure your cloud service provider follow certain rules and regulation to keep your data safe and protected on the cloud here cloud compliance means issues that are faced by anyone using cloud services or cloud backup so how you will ensure that your data on the cloud is safe and no one is no one can access it without your permission here no one like third parties cannot access it so how you can make sure that your data on the cloud is not safe and no one can access it next is companies have compliance requirement for internal and external information 
next you can see here we have cloud compliance include agreement that is the documentation agreement between the IT and the customer next is who can change service that is authority is given to a per specific person who can change services and it also include who can provide details about any service so on cloud compliance it include different agreements that is in between it and the customer next is audit it means independent examination of financial information of any individual or entity here so this is important to provide data privacy and protection over the cloud so how documents are managed it deal with how documents are managed on the cloud how data can be controlled monitored and whether we have the authorized access to data that is legal access to data or any authorized person can access the data so all that is done in audit next is security as a cloud so now we will see how cloud is providing security to the user on the cloud so for this you can see cloud service provider use their own security procedure for the user identity management for the protection of their data against any theft or loss and you can see for the data and information privacy cloud service provider provides secure environment for the user they provide secure network connection data transfer mode firewalls and they also provide different softwares for the more security that can detect virus then we have different security software for the more protection of the user on the cloud that are used by different cloud service providers and cloud also provide data backup and recovery facility so that's just a short introduction about security and privacy issues on the cloud computing so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video